babies come into this world. Oh, it's so precious. Oh, she's so precious. This is a brand new baby. Sit her down in the, in the crib. Don't feed her. Don't talk to her. Don't interact. Don't use, you know, they got baby, baby exercises. They don't pull the leg, uh, they don't, you don't roll them over, you don't do anything like training to them. What kind of baby you think you're going to end up with? It's going to die. And though they know they need to have life, they may be trying, but what are they doing? They're failing. Yeah. It is the same thing for the believers in God. It don't just happen just because I said so. You got to be trained. That's, that's, that's what James was saying. The engrafted word of God that is able to save your soul. What's your soul? Your mind, your will, and your emotions. Some of y'all's emotions is a wreck. Why? Because you're not allowing the word of God to manifest itself in you. How you living? You ain't living too good if you're not getting the abundance of the word. And just coming on Sunday morning and whatever life that y'all have, that ain't enough. I told y'all I understand now why the saints had church all the time. Nobody ever could explain it to me. No, we just had to have church all the time. But I understand now. See, you got a real enemy that is ever waiting to keep you trapped up, tied up in your mind. You're talking about uh, uh, Paul and Silas in prison. We may not be in a physical jail, but some of y'all are so tied up and wrapped up in your mind. You are in a prison in your mind. Yeah. And consequently, the enemy is making you paranoid, yeah. making you think that don't nobody like you, making you think that everybody's against you, yeah. make you think that the pastor's just picking on me, make you think all kinds of foolishness. Yeah. Say that. Say that. That's right, man. Okay. All right. Let this mind be in you. Which was also in Christ Jesus. The mind of obedience, my brothers and sisters. Obedience to the will of God. If he tells you to leave that alone because that is not bringing life to your brothers and sisters, leave it alone. Can you do it on your own? No. But you've got to rely on the Holy Ghost on the inside. The Holy Ghost is your helper. See? The Holy Ghost is your helper. Some of y'all ain't asking for no help. You're asking all the other bodies that you know for help. They can't help you like the Holy Ghost can. <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, young man, I, 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 I see, I see, I see this word look like it's coming to you like a fountain. I, I see the word. I see it. It's like, it's like just going down on the top of your head, just going down into your spirit. And God said that's just what he wants to do. He wants that word to get stirred up in you. Stirred up in you because he's got a work for you. But the word has got to get implanted deep in your spirit. Because there are some other young men that's looking for the wick to be turned up in your life. Oh, somebody clap your hands. Done, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Look at somebody and say, How you living? How you living? Lift up your hands. Slip up your hands and say, God, I'm going to do better. I need the word down in my soul. Now, Holy Ghost, help me. Help me. Come on, tell him, Help me. I need your help. I can't do it by myself. Jesus' name, clap your hands. I keep looking at you. Are you a member here? No, just a visitor? Is your first time? Okay, you've been before. Is that your mom? Ah, I see you in ministry, honey. Hallelujah. Oh, not me. <laughs> yeah, I see you in ministry. I see you in a serious ministry. Matter of fact, I see you in a prayer ministry. A prayer ministry. Because you, you go inward a lot. 
You go in with her. But God said, that's, that's good. That's, that's what I need. You see, because there's going to be some folk that you need to pray. You need to keep that stuff inward and let the Holy Ghost work it out while you make it session. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Ah. Hallelujah. Uh, yeah, even as right now you feel the power of the Holy Ghost. You're feeling the anointing down on the inside. He said, all I need you to do is just give me a yes. <laughs> Ooh, you've been fighting it. And then midnight hour, God speaks to you, but you've been trying to ignore it. Ah. But God said, you can't ignore it no more because I done pulled the cover off. <laughs> oh, God, shout out to the Ah, I do Yeah, he said, because your heart is so tender towards him, you know how to get before the throne of God. And many people may not have counted you as being worthy. Oh, but he said, but I see your heart. And I know what I put in you. And yes, you struggle because there are some struggles that I allow to come to make you and to shape you and to mold you and to teach you how to pray for yourself. So that when you begin to pray for others, you know how to be permanent in prayer. Say yes to God. That's all you got to do. Is somebody help us say yes, Lord. God had need of me. He said, now you just need to say yes and follow the steps that I've called you to follow and you'll see the fruit of your labor. Somebody clap your hands. Woo! Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody come on, help us say yes. Help us say yes. Loose the chain that's holding her back. In Jesus' name. Can I pray for you? Precious, come. Hallelujah. Come on, church, let's pray God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Baby, do you belong to somebody's church? Baby, right here. Do you belong somewhere? You're not a member. Uh huh. That's the first thing you need to do. You need some leadership. God's hand is on you. But you've got to be nurtured in the way that God is calling you. And I don't know. I, I, I feel something. I'm going to tell you this. I believe, I feel like you need to. Where's that pastor? Come on, stand up, pastor. This is a praying man right here. His wife is a praying woman. You need to get under their leadership so God can cultivate. See, it's in you. But this is that training process. You need to be trained on how to release all of that that you feel. See, sometimes God's gifts are working in us and we don't understand what it really is. Somebody's got to point you in that direction and teach you how to release all of that anointing that God has put in you. And God has anointed you heavily and mightily, but you need to be trained. So if you're not in somebody's church today, you need to get in this. Somebody say amen. Now, you know, uh, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not one kind of person to just be trying to uh, solicit and hustle folk to join somebody's church. But God said that. This is where you need to be. Amen. Amen. That's that. Somebody say, and it is so. Hallelujah. Lift your hands to heaven. There's some things that you want to see and you, you've not been able to see them to really captivate your faith. But God called you out today just so that you will know he's concerned about what you're seeking for. You've not told anybody, but God says, I know all about it. And I had this woman that come all the way from Rock Rock, 
when the enemy didn't want me to get here, he made my truck stop all, all the way almost right out of Round Rock and to discourage me. And I said, the devil is alive. There's something that needs to be done in that place. So I got to go. But God said, that's why he had me to call you. Not so much to tell you everything, but just so that you know God is concerned because he loves you. When you can't hear, I love you from other folks. God said, I love you. I love you more than any human being can love you. I love you when you're right, and I love you when you're wrong. I love you so much that when you're wrong, I'll reach my hands out to you, just like I'm doing right now. He said, I'll pull you in close to me. He said, my arms are open. so that you can feel my love so that you'll learn that God loves you. You don't have to prove anything to anybody to get that love because no greater love than that that God gave his son for you so that you can have life and have it more than So you've been kind of walking He said, but I love you so much. I have this woman standing for you, sweating up, to tell you just how much God loves you. Now, did you receive this love? You see, sometimes, you know, you can love people and people don't want to receive the love. That's why. Now, all God is saying is, you know, that God said to give you because it's going to happen but you got to hold on to God's word Romans 8 28 let me ask you this first do you love him? do you really love him? you're going to have to hold on to that do you really love it? the scripture says If it hasn't already started happening, it's getting ready to start happening. God has sent this word to help you stabilize yourself in the fact that I love God. And all of this stuff that's disturbing me must be for my good. Because if it wasn't for my good, God would not allow it to happen. When you get knocked up against the wall and you feel like you just can't take it no more, because it's more than I can bear. The Bible says that he will not bring more on you than you are able to bear. So if it's there, God has more confidence in what he has imparted in you than you know. So you got to rely on the word of God that I can go through because I love him. And even though I don't see how in the world this can be for my good, God 
God said it's working, it's working. 